Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple strip. So, I and uh, Rappaport was on a Pat McAfee show. Talked about Eric Ebony. He, um, he said he splits the calls with uh, Andy Reid. So, you know, 50-50. But he said he's still in the running. They have like a third interviews or whatever for the Colts. Um, but ma matter of fact, just here, here's the video. Here's, it's, it's long. It's long. But here's the entire video. Uh, what about Eric Bieniemy? Is he still in the running? Like, is any or could any of these teams that these these guys that haven't hired anybody is he going to get an interview? Like, what's going on? He was obviously the last couple off seasons top of the list. Yeah, I haven't heard that he's eliminated from Indy, so I think there is a possibility that he could be part of the fourth round. For many rounds there are, but I think the enemy's really in play for a play calling OC job, a couple different places. You know, Baltimore. I think the Commanders is really one to consider. And like, so you'd be like, well, he's already an OC. Why would he leave Mahomes? He shares play calling with Andy Reid. I mean, he does a lot of it, but he shares it. Uh, if that's were, breaking say, news again, yeah, you said this before. That is massive news. If that's the case, I think that is out there. I mean, I, I look, don't because the conversation is always Andy Reid does all the play calling. So when you're hiring, just like no offense to him. Shane Steichen right now over in Philadelphia with Sirianni. Uh, you can kind of go around all the head coaches that call plays. Yeah, Kafka over there with Dayball. I don't know if he's calling plays or Day. I think Dayball let him call plays. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Kafka's calling plays. It's, it's actually pronounced Kafka. And he's calling plays. Oh, okay. Uh, Thank you for that Kafka. correction. The But these guys <laughs> that don't call plays, I think it is automatically like a hit, like – Okay, he's a part of the offense, he is, but Andy Reid's the guy calling the plays. You saying, I think you said this a couple weeks ago, that they're splitting play-calling duties. That was news to me. You saying it's already out there, maybe. I feel like we live in this world. I did not know that. Is that true? Is that factual statement? He also does call plays? I just know he, he does a lot. Like, does he physically say the words to the quarterback? Probably not, but I know he's very, very, very involved. But it's different. When you're, What's let's that say mean? he's a play That's goal. calling plays. What's that mean, <laughs> Rap Sheet? Let's say he's the play calling OC for a defensive head coach like Ron Rivera or for John Harbaugh. It does put him in a little bit of a different category and it sets him up maybe to be a better head coach in the future in the minds of the owners, even though I think that's kind of dumb because being a head coach has almost nothing to do with whether or not you call plays. It's all like leadership and such. But anyway, that's kind of where it is now. Now, with that being said, that's the issue with having a defensive head coach. If the enemy goes into any of these places and has success, he's going to be a head coach after one year, and that coach is going to have to re-find another Eric Bieniemy, which seemingly there isn't a lot of. Also, hopefully Bieniemy is a good play caller in the games, yeah. which we have seen some people who have offensive brilliant minds, not necessarily gr uh, great play callers, because it takes a skill to call plays. I think that's always been the thing that fans think about Eric Bieniemy is like, well, Andy Reid's calling the plays, even though a lot of play, uh, players and other people have given him credit for a lot of the creativity and the designing of the plays. The play calling is such a big conversation. But if he's a head coach, you can bring in an offense coordinator to run your offense. Mm, right. Seems like he should get. Okay, now that you know all of that, as I was saying, um, He's in the running for the Colts head job with their third interviews or whatever. But um, the Commanders and the Ravens. I can't remember if he said any other team. But with the Ravens, I know some people was like, it's not going to happen, bro. Possibly it could. But on the end of that, it's kind of like what uh, Pat McAfee said. He, if he does come to the Ravens, let's say he he does come to the Ravens, and the coach do something stupid like not make him the head coach, and he comes to the Ravens, and he does his thing with Lamar, they go crazy, and he is going out there way one year. Like, what's going to be after that? So, I wonder if the Ravens are thinking about that, or if they just give him so much money. Well, they 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 try to hold him hold him stay, but it's it's just so much with this offensive coordinator. Cause I've seen they they interviewing with other people, but the only people I'm really interested in is Byron Leftwich 
and Eric. That's it. I'm hoping they do not go in-house. And to me, if they do in-house, that literally is like, we're not making it to the Super Bowl next year. We don't, we, and they've been kind of on the, the hold because Kansas City is in um, the Super Bowl. So I wonder if they're waiting for that, waiting for, you know, after the Super Bowl and hit them up or what. But, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's interesting. Hopefully, hopefully it does happen. Um, but like I said, if they, if the coach do something stupid and don't hire the man, Ravens, hey, we right here. Let's get this thing going. Let's, uh, continue to look at these draft prospects. We revamping the wide receivers. Cause I seen some people talking about, well, the Ravens don't have no wide receivers. Why will he come to there? We're revamping. We got Bateman. We still, we see potential, but you know, the injury. So we're going to see what's up with that. Um, hopefully they sign Lamar pretty, pretty soon and just revamp that, that wide receiving core. Just revamp the wide receiving core. We have the run game, you know, JK, we will see what happens with Gus. That's another video, but yeah, just, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. So what y'all think?